Photography has always played a significant role in documenting human progress. However, digital photography has played a different role in conservation efforts recently. Digital images, social media, and the internet make wildlife accessible and relatable to people everywhere, especially those who may never have seen a close-up of hawks, coyotes, or owls in their lifetime. Mount Auburn Cemetery's wildlife is one of the unintended consequences of the Founders' vision that have attracted many photographers and enthusiasts. With its richly planted 175 acres garden, Mount Auburn provides food, water, cover, nesting sites, and habitat for many species of urban wildlife for a diverse community of urban wildlife. Unlike the population sizes of wildlife outside the cemetery that have decreased in the past few years, predators and prey are well represented at the cemetery, allowing the food web to follow its dynamic seasonal cycle. Mount Auburn Cemetery has become home to many resident bird species and animals. In addition, it's a place where migratory birds take temporary cover each April and May and then again in the fall, in September and October, as well as a meeting place for international birders. People come from everywhere to be inspired, get familiar, research, and take pictures. Many people have discovered Mount Auburn Cemetery is not just a cemetery. Upon my first visit 22 years ago, I was struck by the lush green beauty of the place. Without realizing it, my life was changing. My passion for this special place had begun. It brought me to my new avocation as a wildlife photographer and author. Humans aren't the only species that form close social bonds with family and friends. The animal kingdom also knows the practices, the same concept, from hawks to owls and coyotes. The raptors and the coyotes are fantastic parents. Through the years, there have always been owls at the cemetery, great horned owls, barred owls, and screech owls. A great horned owl pair nested for the first time at the cemetery in 2011. That attracted photographers, birders, and watchers from all over New England. It was a spring of celebration. The nesting owls and their owlets inspired many of the birders and photographers. Red-tailed hawks have been the iconic raptor at the cemetery through the years, having successful nests and raising young during most years. We have watched red-tailed hawks teach their fledglings how to hunt. We have seen the parent red-tails on the ground dropping pine coals on the fledglings, teaching them how to manage small prey. Watching this activity, there is no doubt that these are teaching moments. Generally, the raptors disperse the fledglings in the fall. This means they send the young off to find their own territories and their own mates. So the parents teach their young how to hunt so they will survive on their own. Cooper's hawks also nest at the cemetery. In the spring of 22, the Cooper's hawks nested and produced five chicks. Coyotes are another species that raise families for some years at Mount Auburn. A single family usually has a litter of around eight pups. The male of these species is usually responsible for bringing food to the family and the mum is responsible feeding the chicks. Feeding the pups occurs during the night. The parents are utterly devoted to their young. During the day, the pups play alone without their parents. They are watching though, leaving the pups alone, but in case of danger, they could be at the den quickly. <laughs> 